Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Meteor Fall Crewmate's Tale. So, last time Choose I did... Champion. I did alright against the bear... bear man. I'm gonna tr I, I mean, obviously I'm going to try again. Oh, they changed it, so it's, uh, numbered now instead of the little flags. You know, I like that. It makes more sense, easier to count down. <laughs> alright, so let's grab the treasure chest. Let's see. Health file is actually a lot better than I was giving it credit for. What else do I do? I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get the chain, chain mail, but not when it's healing. Or, not when I'm uninjured. Might as well make the most of that. And... Bammo. I wonder if we ever get the chance to change our basic... I don't know what that stamp means, actually. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, let's pick up the armor, and let's just mow through skeletons. I probably should have actually parried there, but you know what? It's, it's fine. I just want to get through this with as minimal hard usage as possible for those extra crystals. Deck management is important. Uh, let's see. Go for him. Pop on the chainmail so we can actually get the parry off here. Okay, what was I going to say? Heck if I know. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna punch the scale of men. Now here'd be the question. I wonder if I buy a second chainmail... ...and not Will you use it. Triumph? Oh, interesting. I can wear two sets of chainmail at once. That seems kind of weird, but all right. But yeah, what I was thinking is... Uh, if he doesn't hit me... Okay, good. It doesn't tick down. And he doesn't have any more cards. Can I fight all of these guys without using anything else here? I think I can. Because they only do cumulatively three damage to me. Let's see if he adds anything else to the board. No. So yeah, let's... Let's just financially cheese our way through this at least first round. Get as many of those crystals as possible and see what we can unlock. Cool. I was I was wondering if I if I could actually pull that off because yeah, we even get gems off of things that are slightly broken. Uh, let's see. So you get five rewards. Five per. Okay. Once per battle, increase the damage of your next attack by X. Increase X by two each round. Deal your base damage to enemy in the row and gain gold. So the reason why this cost two last time is because. Uh, because I had the ability that made all abilities cost two. Shuffle non-enemy tiles into the deck and reduce their cost by one. Defeat three enemy enemies to recharge. Choose wisely. Let's see. Your first attack each battle deals plus one damage. When you defeat an enemy, add a copy of Frenzy to your inventory if you have room. Base, is, base attack is increased by two when attacking enemies with armor or block. I'm gonna grab Savage. Choose and let's go shopping. Me. So what can I get? So what's this? Claymore. Well, this weapon is active. You can't activate another weapon. Okay, so you can't have two weapons equipped. So that's fine. This says piercing does four damage. Additional two damage versus damaged enemies. I like the cleaver. I like the cleaver and I like this armor. So we're going to buy both of these. The rest I'm going to sleep on, I think. Or do I? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the pipe sword. And the spear? I'm gonna buy the spear. What we're going to do is I'm gonna try and deck manage down a little bit. Okay, so I still need to get rid of one more. Well uh let's get rid of bucket helm. There we go. 
So now I've got three pieces of armor, four weapons, some healing, and taunt. I'm not super sold on whether or not taunt is a good idea, but I'm going to give it a go. Awaits. And we'll figure it out. Okay. So what do we got? <laughs> Always treasure chest. And we've got a fair bit of skeleton sitting around. I could get the plate armor. Let's get the plate armor after the first Skeleman. And we'll be good to go. I I kind of hope at some point we get the ability to switch in a couple of starting items. So we're not just always rolling with the exact same stuff. Oh. Frenzy. That's what Frenzy does. I thought Frenzy was Slash. Hmm. I. It's worth it. It's just not useful in this situation. Regretful. Okay. I'm trying to decide, is it worth it? It's not worth it against the Skelemen. But it's probably worth it against these guys. Uh, let's see. Let's buy the plate armor that before we go too be far, needed. though, because that's that's going to get progressively more expensive. And I don't like that. Okay. A new toy. That's good. The problem is I'm going to fill my deck entirely with frenzies, and that's actually a bit of an issue for me. If I raise my max HP, we might be fine. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So, coolest. Okay, so he's going to hit me. Pop the plate armor. Pop the frenzy. Hit him. Okay, let's take off the armor. I... It didn't seem like frenzy triggered there. Uh, let's try that again. So I'm gonna... Yeah. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. What a find. I am confused. Okay. But I'm doing... I'm, I'm very confused. Okay, so let's put this away. Let's buy another chainmail. And let's go after him. Okay, so do we burn the plate armor, or do we just offset the damage by a little bit? Because that only does two damage to him. Oh, I see. That's how that works. So I can activate it without actually using it and burn it. That's good, at least. Okay, so I've, I've taken some damage here. What do I want to do? Because if I pick this up, we could trash some stuff for some extra gold, but I don't necessarily need that. We've got a little bit... we got a couple of enemies. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm just going to grab the health file. To your health. And use one. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get away without using it some did. of these. So let's let's just uh, burn this. So I don't actually have to use this. I can just equip it, and it'll burn for my inventory. Okay, that's good. I I was mildly regretting my decision to pick it up because I was going to just clog. Frenzy will be incredible for maybe the boss fight, assuming I can live through said boss fight. Uh, let's see. Your lucky day. Buy the chainmail. Go after this, and we're right at the end here. So let's pop these two. And he's not going to be able to hit me. And then we'll probably we'll properly use the frenzy against this guy. Okay, so plate armor, frenzy. Hit him for four, and then just 
Hit him for four again. Okay, it's kind of worth it. I'll figure it out. Alright, an unused item bonus is still pretty good. So, whenever you acquire a weapon, restore one durability to this item. Increase damage of all visible melee weapons in the dungeon by one. Or any two weapons to recharge this. I'm gonna get Battle Song, I think. Choose wisely. At the start of each dungeon, shuffle three copies of Flex into the dungeon deck, or whenever you attack with two equipped weapons, add three. Hmm. Let's go rich. Okay, and we go to the Check boneyard, the but boat. first we should see what we have. So we have a bow. We have a helmet. If I remember right, this thing was garbage. It's not bad. It's actually very much worth it. Okay, let's buy that at the very least. Buy the spear. And... I'm gonna buy the bow. Bows? Kind of okay. All right, well, let's go in here. So I've bought some more weapons. Honestly, I'm gonna get rid of slash. It just doesn't really fit in my. It doesn't fit in my imagined build. Moving. And we'll go from here. Let's see if we can actually beat the boss this time. Frenzy will be kind of nice. I think I'll skip it in the future, but still. So boneyard. Kalakas tends to the boneyard like a morbid garden with the right parts. He can grow a new skeleton to join his pale kingdom. The Boneyard. Okay, so he gains one armor whenever you slay another enemy in the dungeon. The restless ruler of the fleshless, Kalakis competes with the Ghost King to become... The of each... Probably the king of each new lost soul. Or... I'm not sure. Okay, so let's... Acquire Battle Song and utilize it. So there's. Oh, that's an ancient skeleton. It's well armored and fashionable dude starts with two armor. Cool. So acquire two weapons to recharge this. So I guess we gotta get we gotta get to battling. Now I wonder if Kalakis's effect works if he's not on the board. I am unsure. I don't I still don't have enough money for Two arms. one of those. I'll probably wanna sell discard some things here. Let's just pop the frenzy to get it out of here. I'll probably use it against the Skelenite. But I don't need two of them. Okay, so I'm kind of injured. And we've got these guys rolling in. I guess I'm going to start by getting a chainmail. Okay, units armored, you need to break down their armor before you can deal damage to their health or use piercing attacks. Well, I have a whole bunch. Hit it. Okay, so if we use the chainmail, we'll be good to go. He's stunned. And I think I'm just going to sack the chainmail for a couple of easy wins here. Before we go for the proper prize. Okay, so I'm going to pop all of the frenzies, block the first hit, lose the chainmail, but I'll live. Okay. He's down. Now I've got two gold. Let's see, so that would increase my damage by four. A new toy. Worth it. Because I should be able to punch through these guys. Oh, and there's taunts. Okay. Will you triumph? So I'm just gonna insta give him with the pipe. Finders keepers. Let's grab the treasure chest. Let's grab taunts. 
Okay, so let's taunt. And there's the boss. Rise again. You dare oppose me, then behold your final resting place until I make your bones rattle and dance. Okay, so I just made everything cheaper, which is good. Let me figure this out. Because everything has got a, got a little bit more expensive, which I guess is fine. Works for me. I wonder if that damage bonus I, I gave because the battle song went away. It looks like that's the case, which sucks a little. Uh, so be it. Okay, uh... Let's... Three enemies to recharge. So I could I could taunt again if I wanted to and kind of freebie my way through a lot of things. It's tempting. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of wounded too, so I'm gonna grab the chainmail in favor of Frenzy. And we're gonna go after one of these guys. Okay, so he's gonna hit me for three. That's a bit rough. I guess I'll chainmail up. I'd like to do the parry, but... Oh well. Okay, and we'll just kill him. So, Pipe Sword should work. Okay, he gets better armor. But I think it's best if we leave him, because I'm going to do Taunt and Battle Song. Two arms. And that's a lot easier this way. Okay, so I lose those two bits of equipment. Okay, we get a Frenzy. So I'm going to grab Plate Armor first. That heals me up by a bit. That's some decent armor, too. And... Let's see. Spear is piercing. That spear does five damage and, is, and he is piercing. Alternatively... Let's shuffle it all. Okay, so now everything is dirt sheep. So what do we want to grab? The spears would be nice. Let's see. Short Sword does not have bonus damage. That does. Well, if I grab this spear... Let's get rid of Taunt. There aren't enough enemies left. Let's go after the Ancient Skeleton first. And just insta-give him with the spear. Okay. And then pop Battle Song. So now we can get rid of Battle Song. Uh, let's see. Can I use Longbow? Get rid of this. Okay, so no valid targets for the tile. So we're going to want to get rid of the, the bow, after all. Okay, I've got plenty of armor potions. I could go piercing. Any of these have the bonus damage. I guess I'll grab this instead of the bow. And let's go after Kalakis. So he's not going to hit me. So I'm just going to go bananas on this guy's face. Because I can just kill him. Hell yeah! Alright, and then we just have regular dude. In that case, I'm gonna buy the, uh, I'm gonna buy the healing potion and just pop it once. I guess we didn't really need to, but it's fine. I really like this. It worried me a little bit, but now that I'm, like, getting into it, it, the simplicity worried me a little bit, but now that I'm, like, here, I'm actually really appreciating the the design of everything. So, destroy a non-boss enemy that's been damaged. Well equipped, you have thorns. Once per battle, increase your damage over your next attack by X. Let's grab the spike shield. It's kind of expensive, but it's worth it. Well, there are seven or more enemies on the board and gain an extra attack. That would be rough. Thorny might be worth it. Because Blessed's only going to give me two HP. Cautious would be interesting. You know, I'm going to go Blessed. Okay, let's go shopping. What can we get? What is this thing? Increase the base damage of all weapons on the board by two. Exhaust. That's A pretty good. Prudent purchase. Okay. 
another well healing put. potion. And... I get another spiked shield, but they're very expensive gold-wise. So we'll grab another spear. Quite the bargain. Claymore is kind of good. I think I'll just save my dosh. Okay. So we want to get rid of some stuff. So let's let's get rid of the uh Get rid of the bow. And do we get rid of the basic healing potion? Yeah, I'll get rid of the basic healing potion, I think, at this point. Okay, that should be good. I'm gonna continues. die at some point, but that's okay. We Yeah, the deck system in this game, it almost reminds me of uh Hand of Fate. You know, you, you start with kind of a Grubbin's deck and you slowly make your way up to actually having a pretty powerful set of things to, to pull from. I, I don't know. I like it. A harpy's roost in yon yonder peaks, but they don't bother the gondola too much. As long as I remember to strap a sacrifice to it, gondola controller Vivian. Uh, oh, the box changes <laughs> visually every single time. Okay, so I start with some gold, but I have next to no monsters. Uh... I'm gonna grab... I'm just gonna kill this guy. I've got a decent healing potion sitting around. So that's kind of good. Let's see. I do have a spear. I got a couple of things I can go for. I guess let's grab that potion, because that doesn't heal me in the slightest. What I want to get is a number of... Oh, if this enemy reaches the bottom row... You take two damage. Good to know. So I gotta I gotta fight her sooner than later. Do we just do it now? Sure. Hit it. Okay, so she does three piercing damage. To your health. Okay, so I'm just gonna two shot her. Yep. Two shotting the harpies seems like a sweet relief. A good idea. Uh, let's see. So they do... They do dang bitch. I can kill him without equipment, though. Okay. We'll have to acquire wealth fairly shortly, though. But that'll be okay. Sweet relief. Alright. Uh, let's see. So... They do three. I can, I can work on the Punk Harpy. I, I could probably take her out if I use the Health Potion again, because she only does three to me. It to your I mean, five if you count the potion, but you know what? Worth it. At least they're productive. Or productive, predictable. And there's no RNG in this game, so you really can just kind of plan for what you want to do. Okay, let's grab the treasure chest. Windrunner. Enemies flying can't equip weapons until after this enemy attacks. Interesting. Uh, let's see. So I, I've taken some hits. Let's grab that. Oh, let's see. We'll grab the pencil sharpener. We don't have a whole lot of weapons, though. That's that's my beef here. Ah, sweet relief. So this guy does three damage. What kind of armor does that have? Four. Seems overkill. Otherwise, let's pick up the... We could pick up the spear. They don't have a whole lot of... Yeah. Okay, this is gonna work. So, let's frenzy and spear and just one-shot the guy. So far, so good. There's taunt. I appreciate a good taunt. So, let's grab it. Let's pop it. I should have thought about that, but it's okay. I wish I could see how many cards... Oh, 11 cards remaining. Okay, that's a fair bit. I don't think we have any more piercing. So, let's kill this punk. I should have killed this punk first. Pop that. Go for spear. Just instigate To your health. Okay, what else do we do? 
Short Sword only increases my damage by one. I could Pencil Sharpener, but... I guess actually, at this point, let's start grabbing the Chain Mail. Because I, I can just use it to carry out the basic skeletons. I also want to replace it with better armor. I, all I would need is just something with more durability, but eh. Okay, so defeat three enemies to recharge. Lock that. And we're good. I don't know. I, I was just worried that this was going to be simple. This reminds me of another deck builder roguelike I played a long time ago. That was decent, but not amazing. And so I've been... Mildly concerned. Do we taunt again? No. I should kill her first. She only does three damage to me. Hit it. Five with a frenzy. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna frenzy kill her. Because she's just gonna hit the bottom and hurt me. And I don't wanna deal with that. Ah, sweet relief. Okay. I'm not too injured. So let's pop taunt. Okay, nothing hits the bottom, and everything is cheaper. There's Battle Song. Okay, so let's... Well, hold on. We only have a couple of weapons even visible or available. So let's buy the Chainmail, get rid of one of the Frenzies. Go off, go off to the Skeleton. Okay, because yeah, the Skeleton just take one, one Chainmail to defeat flawlessly. And if I can get a bunch of these weapons beefed up really hard by the last round here, worth it. Okay, so he, he busts the chainmail. Surprising, no one. And we're good. I don't think this is ever going to be one of those roguelikes that I can just, like, freely chat over. Which is a bit unfortunate, but eh, it's fine. Okay. So if I buy the spear, alternatively, we taunt again. Taunting again! Alright, so what do we got? Everything is cheap. That's all weapons. Let's pop that. Okay, so this is a damn good spear. Because I can just use it to insta-gib this guy. I guess I could have used the base spear to insta-gib him anyway. It's fine. Finders keepers. Okay. Let's grab Battle Song. Replace that. Battle song up. Oh, the more damage, the better. Uh, let's see. And we're actually about done here. So, oh, I'm I'm still fairly healthy. So I'm just gonna kill this guy. Because I'm I'm trying to safeguard some of these things. Uh, let's see. This has thorns. Okay, so I'm gonna get it instead of that. Go for her. She's gonna do four lightning. I have no idea what lightning does. I'm gonna thorns up and we'll just see what happens. Maybe it's flying. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna frenzy preemptively. Okay, and she's stunned. So I'll just be able to kill her. Perfect. Yeah, so the, the answer is... Spike shield. And I won't use it all up. Perfect. I forgot to frenzy. Uh, that could have gotten slightly worse, but we're okay. Alright! And decent unused item bonus. Uh, let's see. So, golden chest. When you acquire this, gain three gold. That's pretty good. Pipe sword or butcher's cleaver. Also very good. I'm gonna go for the golden chest, though. Choose wisely. Let's see, pack rat. Base attack is increased by one when you have four items in your inventory. Base attack is increased by two when attacking enemies with armor or block. I'm gonna get scrapper. I don't know if it's, uh, yeah, that was probably worth it. Do peruse my wares. Okay, so what is this? Used to draft a random item. Let's see. Stop a blitz action. That might be really good. I 
This also might be really good. Only works in long fights, though, and I try and finish them quickly. I'm gonna get the Potion of Transmogrification. I was really hoping for more armor-related things, but eh, so be it. So I think I'm gonna probably stop uh, saving as much money. Because I notice I've been hoarding it, and it's not actually doing me any favors. 